Hello, Grace Resolutions here, and it's the International Day for Children. So, in today's video, I'll be showing how to design this Happy Children's Day flyer right in Photoshop. So, if you're ready, let's head straight into the video. All right, so we're going to use um, a dimension of uh, 1080 by 1080 pixel. So, I'm going to give my flyer a name. You can just say Children's Day flyer. Okay. All right, I can just say Children's Day flyer. All right, I use a dimension of 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. Okay, my resolution 300, and yeah, leave my settings my color mode at RGB because I'm not going to print it. And then I go down to click create. Yeah, these are the documents I'm using for this tutorial. So I'll leave a link to um, this website, these documents in the description, so you can download them and feel free to practice along. So I'm going to drag this into my Photoshop. So I'm going to click this and drag it straight up right here. And then I'm going to convert to a smart object like so. So I'm going to right click and select convert to smart object. And then I'm going to fill it to um, use, um, ensure that it fills up the canvas, something like so. Uh, okay, good. All right, so I'm going to reposition this just something so it, it becomes something like this. All right. So next up, um, yeah, I'm going to bring in my image. Okay, the main um, character in this design. So this is the image I'm using. So I'm going to drag it once again, or I can just say, okay, let me just open, right click, and say, um, open in Photoshop, because I need to work on this image a bit. So I'm going to open it in Photoshop 2023. Alright, so next up, I'm going to work on this image. So I'm, go I'm going to go to my uh, camera raw. I'm going to go to my filter and go to camera raw. Um, yeah, camera raw filter. Just to do some minor adjustment to this image. And then increase the contrast. And then I'll go all the way down to um, take out the vibrance. Okay, let me take out the vibrance, take out the saturation. Okay. And then I go to contrast uh, to texture. Let me give it a bit of texture right here. Uh, okay, let me go up to black. Let me take up, increase the black. All right, so next up, I'm going to drag this image into my work area. So I'm going to click it like this and drag it straight up here. All right, so I can just go right ahead and label this as clients. Uh, yeah, client. Now, so next up, I'm going to sort of um okay just fit the image a bit so i'm going to give it a masking okay create a layer mask okay so i'm going to go to my layer options here so i'm going to click this to give it a layer mask okay uh, let me zoom out and then i come to my co my color um okay the, the tabs right here and show that your black is set to the foreground and your white is set to the background all right so i'm going to go down to my brush tool and then pick my brush tool okay let me re reduce the brush a bit okay so what next i'm going to do is that i'm going to brush off a part of this image something like this okay just brush it off so next up what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to bring this image once again i'm going to drag it into my work area like so once again put it here and then i'm going to just reduce the opacity a bit so I come down to where I have the opacity right here and then I take it down to just to fade it into that particular spot all right okay something like this then I go to my mask I also create a layer mask for the image okay and then I come to okay I take my brush up my brush tool my pressing letter B on the keyboard and then increase the brush a bit okay then i can also just brush off the image just brush off a part of it okay something like this all right so next up i'm going to start adding my logo so i'm going to go to my ellipse tool all right so i take my ellipse and come here and hold my shift key and just draw little ellipse okay something like this uh, okay give it a feel of white all right and then drop my tool so next up, I'm going to bring in my logo. So I go to my document folder and drag my image in. All right. Okay. Bring it into my Photoshop 2023. 
right so i'm going to resize the logo okay just fill it up something like so so next up i'm going to add the name of the brand so i'm going to go to my notepad okay I, i'm going to copy this and yes i take my text tool and ctrl v to paste so i go for the font montserrat so i go to my character panel and type the font montserrat and i go for a um a semi bold okay a semi bold typeface all right so i'm done with my logo so next up i'm going to add the text happy so i go once again to my notepad and copy this okay just copy this and yeah come to my documents so before i go on let me just group these as ctrl g and group them as logo all right so i'm going to take my text once again and paste the word happy okay ctrl a ctrl v okay let me reduce the tracking to zero and then use the font autograph okay i'll leave a link to where you can download this font in the description box and i'm going to bring this font right here something like so okay and then i'm going to change the color okay I go to my character panel right here give it a sort of a little faded pink color something like this it's cool then i go to my blended options right click and give it a little bit of drop shadow all right uh, change the color of the drop shadow to black and reduce the spread okay the distance a bit all right opacity so this is then i go right ahead and click ok so next up i'm going to take my text tool again and type the word uh, children so i've already once again go to my notepad i copy the word children's ctrl c and i go to my document ctrl v ctrl a ctrl v to paste and then let me change the fonts to a Montserrat. Sorry, to a yeah. What's what's that font again? Let me go to my notepad. And, okay, Langita. Okay, Langita. Okay. Um. So let me go back to my Photoshop. I changed it to. Yes, this is it. All right. So, let me position this properly. So I bring it here like so. Now this one. Let me get rid of this first. Children's. Okay. Then I'm going to give it change the color to white. So I'm going to bring it in something like so and show it's properly aligned. Then I'm going to duplicate this text by pressing Alt key, click and drag, and type the word day. All right, so I drop my text to and I position this somewhere like so. So I guess you haven't learned from this video. If you are, please give this video a like, share this video with your friends, leave your comments, and also subscribe to my channel because I make a ton of graphic of videos on graphic design and general internet tips and tricks. Okay. So next up is that I'm going to give this um, some effect. Okay. Before that, let me just group this. Um, so I'm going to group the group these two text. That's the main caption. So I'm going to hold them, select Ctrl G, and group them and rename them as caption okay caption all right so what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to duplicate them and then i'm going to um i'm going to rasterize this option because i need to add some effect to this caption okay so i'm going to right click and select i'm, I'm going to select um, convert to smart object all right and then i'm going to click rasterize all right rasterize layer Alright, so next up, I'm going to bring in this image. Okay, so I'm going to say right click and select open in Photoshop. So I'm going to click this and drag it into my work area. Okay, something like this. Now ensure that it's above the main caption, okay? And then I'm going to something like this, ensure that it's above the main caption. So next, okay, let me drop this to first. So next up, I'm going to create a clipping mask so i'm going to right click and select create clipping mask so i'm successfully clipped this um the image to the text as you can see right here it gives you this bit of children sort of effect okay so i'm going to adjust the image a bit so it doesn't affect the legibility of my text i'm just going to adjust the image a bit um say something like so all right so i think this is cool 
So next up, I'm going to add some kind of effects to um, to my text. So I'm going to go to my the layer options right here and select the blending options. All right. So I'm going to first of all give this a stroke. So I'm going to give this stroke. All right. Ensure it's outside and um, okay. Uh, a four is okay. Let me give it a four okay something like or three okay something like this is cool then i'm going to add going to add some bevel to it now ensure that it's on the um inner bevel okay you can just tweak it and know which one works best okay i can go for emboss okay i think emboss is cool then i can increase the size okay you can increase the size a bit uh, you can add so some soften effect okay so you can just tweak around and know you can also add some outer glow if you want to Add some outer glow to it. Let me give this sort of an orange glow to it. And then increase it. Something like so. Alright, so when you're done, okay, you can go right ahead and click OK. Alright, so if you're having value from this video already, please give this video a like. Of course, leave your comments and just let me know how much you are enjoying this video. Alright, so next up, I'm going to add, um, okay, the social media handle for this brand okay so i'm going to do that by going to my sort of my ellipse layer and my shape tool and go for a rectangle so i'm going to draw a rectangle here like so all right then i come to my um property panel okay ensure that the rectangle is highlighted and then i'm going to give it a stroke a sort of a pinkish stroke something like this then i'm going to also okay then i'm going to um also let me drop my tool uh okay then i'm also going to change the border of the rectangle to sort of a dotted line something like so or something like this and then increase the size of the rectangle okay so i'm going to increase the size of the rectangle now as you notice right here the effect i'm adding is not showing on my rectangle why because right here the rectangle is clipped to the caption which is not supposed to be so what i'm going to do right here so in case you encounter this error so what you do is you right click and you select release clipping mask okay so i'm going to drop my two once again and then take the rectangle off you can also just okay let me undo that i can drag the rectangle right above this okay above the caption or take it somewhere like so good just take it um, anywhere below the um, rectangle okay below your um the um, area or the caption where you did the clipping all right so as you can see now our rectangle is visible now i don't want a fill to be on the rectangle so what i do i come to my properties panel click on the fill and change it to no fill so as you can see right here the fill has been the fill option has been removed now my rectangle i think is the um the bars are too big so i want to reduce them so what i do i come to my the, the size here pixels and turn it down okay just reduce it Okay, now I want to give to make the rectangle to the edges to be a bit rounded. So what I do, where I have this different this shape, um, this pixel, okay, this different shape. As you can see right here, this represents the four corners of my rectangle. So I want just the uh, the top left and the bottom right to be curved. So I come to my pixel right here and change this to let's say 50. I hit enter. Okay. Now, as you can see, the whole, the entire, the edges of the rectangle is covered, but I don't want that. I just want the edges. So, what I do is that I uh, control Z, okay, control Z, and then I uncheck this, um, okay, I uncheck this very icon here, okay, because this icon, if it's checked, it means whatever change you make here will affect the edges, but I just want you know, the two edges. So, I uncheck this, okay, then I come back here, I give this a 50 pixels. I hit enter then i come down to the other side the top uh right sorry the bottom right hit 50 and hit enter so as you can see right here uh yes so i can also and drop zoom in so as you can see right here we have added the okay our rectangle to this sorry ctrl z all right so what i'm going to do right here is i'm going to reposition my rectangle okay so i'm going to reposition it something like so okay i think this is cool 
So what I'm going to do next is to bring in my the social media handle for this brand. So I'm going to bring in my I'm going to take my text to and go to my notepad and copy the social media handle. So I just kids 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 leisure properties uh, paradise rather. So I copy this and I come to here to paste it. Control A to paste. Then okay, I change this to a Montserrat. Of course, I love Montserrat. Good old plain font. Then I go for a semi bold. All right. So I reduce it like so, and I bring it into this. Okay, let me reduce it further. So next up, I'm going to bring in my Instagram icon. So I'm bring in my Instagram icon. So I'm going to go to my documents folder. Right, I'm going to drag it into my. Okay, drag it into my Photoshop 2023. All right. So as you can see here, our Instagram icon is black. So I want to change this color to white. So I click my property panel right here, and go to blending options. And then come to color overlay. So I change this to white. You can change it to any color you want to, but I think white is just okay. So I click OK and then you resize this. Okay, I can resize the icon just to fit into my walk into the rectangle. Alright, just position this like so. Cool. So I can also give it um, a drop shadow if I want to. So I can right-click and select blending options and just give it um, sort of a drop shadow black. Then I go ahead and click OK. So this is how you can design a simple but very beautiful children's day flyer in Photoshop. So I'm sure you had value from this video. If there's any part of this story that's not clear, Feel free to ask your questions in the comments section and of course return to them as soon as possible. So thanks for watching and leave your like on this video, your comments. Of course, subscribe to my channel because I make ton a ton of graphic design videos and internet tech tips as well. So till I see you in my next video, take care and stay safe.